right, future Ort here. Once again, uh, just want to remind you, breaking it off into small segments, there's not going to be like an official end. I'm just going to cut it. And uh, hope you have a good time. Sorry about the audio quality, but what can you do? We're doing it remotely. Oh, I could just walk off. Huh. Oh, okay. Uh, that doesn't hurt you in any way. All right, we got to go see... Um, hold on, go to the uh, right. We got to go to the store? Yeah, we got to go... No, we got to go see Mason Mole. <sighs> Left. There you go. Hey, Molly man. Look at his fucking face. God, you're so short. Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Hello. How's your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around? <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> Hmm, strange. I must have a familiar face. No. <laughs> you probably, no. Like, you must have a familiar <laughs> he face. Gives no, I, I don't. To the conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yes. How's your Helpful. lobster cup? School. Internet. Oh, okay. You know each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster cup's pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you to just use the new sheriff. Yes. It's nice, isn't it, to have a friend who thinks the world of you? Yeah. What were you doing before this? Before? Masturbating. Before you became sheriff. Did you have a different job? <laughs> Jacking off! What was it about? <laughs> I helped. Helped? I helped out. Helped out who? With what? Not important. Sorry, I didn't mean to I don't like help. how sketchy this motherfucker is. He gives very little information. He doesn't want to, like... He's the only one with a hat still. I yeah. mean, I've got problems. And he said specifically you, it wasn't his hat. But he's wearing one. So, like, yeah. I'm telling you. Goodbye. Oh, oh. That's oh, it? Okay, see ya. Staring the directly shit? at my junk. Ice and mole. Motive? Want to be the only person in town with a hat? Needs? To be left alone, I guess. Notes. Yeah. A fellow, a few words. A few Stop words. Helped out. He's suspicious as fuck. <laughs> oh my god, that picture is the greatest <laughs> thing in the world. Oh, that's good. If you don't make that the main Why screen, like when, you, when you're looking at. Oh. Oh, these could come in handy. Oh, get it? Gloves. Excuse me. Yeah, sure. Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Crime. Oh, fucking crime. No. No. Take him. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. This guy is sketchy as fuck. Cool. Got gloves. Let's go talk. Uh, do you want to keep talking to people that we haven't talked to before? Bug. Um. Let's go back to the rabbit real quick. See if maybe what? she'll talk to us. Still mad at us. Excuse me, Susie Rabbit? Hello? What? It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we should call you the Flake. Whoa. Because you always flake on your promises. <laughs> I'm gonna have to break in on my own now. But she's fucking I don't psycho. think that's a good idea. Yeah. I, I didn't ask. Wow, why are you breaking in anyway? Bit nosy for someone that for someone who doesn't want to help. Being nosy is my job. That's literally part of my name. Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can't get into my vault. Oh. So you only want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Surely there's another way of getting them. Oh, so now you want to help? Typical. I just mean Fucking breaking men. in sounds dangerous. You could have hurt. <laughs> I hear all these banks are booby trapped. Titty trapped. That's what it should be called. Titty trap. Titty trap. Why? People don't break in. What's 
rather breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. People can break in. It kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. I like All that right, I there's continuity point. between the shots with the uh, tumbleweeds. I know, right? I'm starting to get it. Ugh, it's so annoying. I have a piece of evidence that is vital to the missing hat case. Wait, what? I could really use that. So you'll help me? Hmm. Really shouldn't. Kind of evidence. It's a map. I think it might lead to somewhere the hats are hidden. I found it this morning right after the hats were stolen. It had big letters on the top that said crime map. Eat after reading. Uh, <laughs> I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good to hear. Maybe there's another way to get into your vault. Uh, the vault. You gotta warm her up. So let's brainstorm some ideas to get yeah. to the vault. Ooh, sure. What about we? Uh, what about we kick the bank teller? What? Absolutely not. I'm joking, obviously. Were you? No, I wasn't. <laughs> She's a bitch. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. I'll be honest with you, detective. What is it? Pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. Oh, that's a conundrum. Yeah. But there's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Isn't that against the rules? No rules. The rules? The bank rules. My vault! What are you going to do? Ban me from my own possessions? Suppose not. Great, so then it's settled. You help me get a fake ID, I'm gonna steal somebody's shit, and you down for it, right? What? No. Whatever. I'm gonna go do crimes. Theoretically, if I were to help. <laughs> yeah! Thank oh. you, Texas. I'll wait right here. Okay. Mind if I ask you some questions? Hi. The map. About that vital piece of evidence, the map. What about it? It was a map of the graveyard, I see. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. You'd be looking forever without some guy to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want us to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? Well, that's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about the map? Yeah, not really. Listen, if you can help me get in my vault, it's all yours. That sound like a good deal? I'll do my best. Okay. We gotta make a fake ID. I love the photos. Real close up. <laughs> I know, right? Maybe she misplaced the hats in the vault? I don't know. Fake ID. Yikes. Short stature, shorter temper, ethical criminal, not a big believer in rules. You know what? I'm down for Zuzi. Yeah, that'd be a good um, band name. Ethical Criminal. Ethical Criminal. Alright, now I'm ready to go to the right there. Rhonda Dynamite? That's a hell What's of a What's up, name. Rhonda? Right? That's my stage name. Rhonda Dynamite. Yeah. They come from far and wide to face off of the powerful Rhonda Dynamite. Rhonda Dynamite? That's me! Bring your weapon, frog. It's time for us to do battle! I do not have a weapon, and I'm not super interested in doing battle. Then why are you here to face me? This is my land, frog. You cannot just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? Do you own the scooter barn? No, but I loiter here every day. Everyone knows this. Where have you been? You live under a rock frog. I thought you. I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. Ha! Snap. Oh, I live at a hundred skeleton street, slippery pond. You know, <laughs> you probably adorable. shouldn't get off your address to criminals. Right. 
<laughs> yes. You literally just met me. Oh, sorry. Don't give your full address to strangers. PSA. This whole episode has been a PSA. Don't give your information out of any kind. Yeah. Why not? How else are you going to know where I live? Or where do you send me money to my bank? Yeah. You've got a great point. <laughs> Grace! Oh my god. The detective, the detective does, does not, have, not a have a great, great point. point. Do not give your address out to strangers. Unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich. They tell people where you live. Because how else are they going to know you live in a mansion? Oh my god. Okay, even then just show them a photo. Don't give them your address. Thanks for playing. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Thanks, Grace. That is hilarious. Anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. Would you like me to leave? Nah, I'm just enjoying having some company. So what do you do? Hmm? What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat him up. What? No. I'm gonna give him a taste of these fists. Man, Rhonda's ready to throw hands. And I like that she has to stand on a hay bale just to be eye level with me. <laughs> no way. Kick him in the nose. Turn his shoes together and trip him. Tell him they're ugly. Oh, damn. That's me. Please, no. I'm an outlaw detective. I hate it when people do the wrong thing. <laughs> That's the <laughs> opposite of an outlaw. <laughs> You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. You think so? To be honest with you, detective, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Ooh, oh. the plot thickens. It was filled just before I got here. Yeah, I know. That's some Miranda. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure Lobster Cop wouldn't have given the job to just anyone. He must be very qualified. Hmm. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. I can't wait for Rhonda to be the new sheriff. Right. I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with class and style. I love to help others. Got a problem that needs something? solving? I'm your girl. And I'm tough. No one's gonna mess with me. Wow, you sound like a great fit for the job. I think so too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You could always talk to Mason Mole, show him your expertise. Maybe you could be co-sheriffs. That's a great idea. Uh, about being the sheriff. Let me just ask somebody that just got their new job. Hey, do you want to share your job with me? Yeah. <laughs> what did Mason Mole ever do to you? Divorce me. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but he's shifty. Just don't trust his face. Please <laughs> Just don't. don't trust his face. Don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say? Like a list of my skills and experience? Yeah, I think that would be a better option, just bearing up Sh Sheriff Mason Mole. Uh, I'm not really... I don't really have the writing supplies for making a resume. <laughs> oh, guess who I does? had paper and stuff, right? I can get you the writing supplies. Just please don't bait up the sheriff. Ugh, I guess. I was just, you know, thinking about it. Give item. I have some writing supplies right here. Ooh, how'd you get those so quickly? I am magic, motherfucker. I stole them. <laughs> Sounds boring. Thanks for getting me those writing supplies for me. I appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I have a bunch of skills. Wish I had a bunch of skills. We can't all be run the dynamite. I love that self-confidence. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can ask her for a fake ID, apparently. Ooh. What kind of work do you do? Well, detective, I'd love to tell you, but I need to know that I can trust you. She's a dealer. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I understand. You're worried about me telling on you. I won't tell. 
My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hats. If you're stoling the hats, I would totally tell on you, though. Yeah, that's reasonable and fair. Well, okay then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Wow, sounds intense. It's mostly a lot of printing stuff out. I can forge all types of things. Important documents, birth certificates, IDs, you name it. Could you forge a certificate that says number one best detective? Why? No reason. I'm, I'm just dead. joking. I'm Pretend dead. I didn't say that. <laughs> all right. Make a fake ID for Susie. You mentioned you can forge identification, right? Sure can. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure, anything for my friend the detective. Amazing. I need to get a fake ID made for Susie. Can you help? Can do. Did you know what, want to know what it's for? Nope, I'm not interested in other people's business. The less I know, the, le the, less it, the better it is for me, trust me. Yeah. I'll get that ready for you, Jiffy. <laughs> Ding! All done. Anything else I can help you with? Would you like it's to do some more crimes together? It's strange that creating a fake ID takes exactly the same amount of time as painting a picture. Right. Good for now. Thanks for so much. No worries, partner. Nice. Look at that picture, though. It's hilarious. <laughs> Another upshot. Yeah. Honestly, didn't think she'd need a motive to steal the hats. Just a hunch, though. Write a resume. She needs some line conflict resolution skills. Wants to fight me? No, wait. She wants to fight everybody. She knows my full address. Dreams of being the sheriff. It's going to be one well, handy we've actually, sheriff. We've checked a lot of things off of our list. Mm-hmm. Pistol. Dusty. This was Susie, right? Uh, no, to the left. No, Susie's the rabbit. Susie's the bunny, yeah. That's a brass bunny. Give item. Okay, so before I give you this, just know this makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> but I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress Lobster Cop. So, oh my god. Here's your fake ID. Yeah! This rules! It looks so realistic. I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. I work! Thanks, Detective. I'll be sure to tell everyone how I, about how you helped me. Oh, um, no. That's okay. You don't need to tell anyone. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> The detective helped me break into a bank. No, no, no. <laughs> I should call you the burglar. I do not want to be called that. <sighs> Fine. Here, I got the map out for you. Got a crime map. It's full of crime. crimes. And I got my real ID out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. Glad to hear it. Thanks for the map. I think it'll be a big help. Nice. Hold on. Nope. Okay, we can't click it. But it's showing behind okay. it. Didn't it say we needed to get flowers too? Is this one of them? Yeah. Yeah. Let's walk around and grab the flowers. Okay. I think I saw another one. Only the scooter can get up slopes. Who wanted the flowers? There should be enough flowers. What else do they need? They need flowers and something else. Needs crime scene map, criminal tool, key, and meal. Definite proof of a ghost. We got that for him. Her portrait painted. Mm -hmm. Got that. Mm -hmm. Carrots and cactus flowers. Carrots. We can buy carrots okay. from the store. Yeah, let's go to the store because we'll be able to um, bring the portrait and then we'll be able to buy the carrots, I'm sure. 
Yeah. And then we can go to, yeah. Yeah, we got a plan. We got this. Ooh, I skated right in. Yeah, you did. Can I ask you some questions? Here, have a portrait. So you're not going to believe this. <laughs> right. I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep. Pissed all the painters saw your photo and he thought you were the perfect muse. He said that about me. Sure did. Is it a thing? Sure. I'll hang it up for you. Oh my god. Pistol is so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. <laughs> what? It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. Your painting's not cursed, though, is it? I don't think so. Cool. Well, thanks for so much. Thank you so much for getting this portrait of me, Detective. Nah, there's no problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. There Hell we yeah. go. That ladder seems well, quite big. Okay. You'll barely notice once you're holding it, I promise. You say so, thanks. I want to buy carrots from you. I can't buy carrots mm. from you. Maybe not yet. Yeah. There we can go. Can I buy these carrots? Do you have money? Sure do. Plenty of it. All right. Don't need to bribe. Take as many as you need. Thanks. See ya. That's everything we need. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go bring the carrots and the, the flour. That was okay. So he's waiting for me to enter. Can I ask you just questions? Give item carrots. Hey, I managed to procure some carrots for your stew. Yeah, the best detective. How did you even manage that? So I went next door and bought some. That's so cool. I have to stew now. Uh, cactus flowers. It's just been flower picking. Great. Here's what I collected so far. I'll add them to the stew. Wish you stopped told me that the cactus flowers were so hard to get. Nearly pricked myself. Huh, <laughs> did you? That's so funny. It's not funny at all. That's hilarious. It is not hilarious. That would have hurt. <laughs> yeah, it would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Oh, wow, we did that and you didn't oh. think about it. First and second hand, yep. Well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Hey, would you look at that? What? I got all the ingredients. It was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? It was a little condescending. You're right. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. It's more than I did, I suppose. Just give me a sec, I'll finish this stew and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I could give this to an officer cop. Oh, that's his meal. Yep. You got some stew. Do we want to go give the ghost pick next? Or do we want to go uh... talk to the guy out in the middle of nowhere first? I say ghost pick the ladder. Okay. I like the drastic change in tone as you switch from building to building. Right? Hey, buddy, I got your ghost pick. So I took a look at all the photos in the saloon. I think this one's definitely a ghost. Uh, really? How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one, this one is something else. I can just tell. The energy for this photo is very spooky and suspicious. Should've known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. I can only be so smart. That's fine. That's gonna be my excuse anytime I do something smart, really stupid. Fine, let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? What do you have? Pickaxe. Oh, that'll be helpful where the miner guy. Yeah. Why? 
Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can I just carry around a pickaxe? Don't need the pickaxe Illuminati getting around. Something wrong with that? Uh, no, I guess not. But usually when people give stuff to me, they have a reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay, well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing, sorry. It's okay. Just one more mystery that'll haunt me for the rest of my days. It seems really intense, though. It's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe? Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. And an existential dread. Uh, desert first, I think. I'm really interested in what's going on in that, um... In the well, well, well. Portal to hell, whatever it is. Woo! You sweet, sweet tricks. Oh my god. Hey, this ladder is perfect for climbing down the well. Lucky me. I wouldn't call that luck. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, hmm. we need that. People are so careless <sighs> nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. Okay. Nice. Oh man, we got real close. We're real close to the end. I feel it. Okay, now I can get out. Not only is this ladder for climbing down, I can also use it for climbing up. Lucky me. Yeah, luck. That's what we'll call it. Not the risk of our hard work, you know? Yeah. Woo! Oh. I hit shift again. Bye, Lobster Cop. Fuck Lobster Cop. More like Duckster Cop. He's been Duckster doing shit this time. What's up, fella? Hey, you. Sherman. Wow, oh, look at you! Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, no, no, I got this, I got this. You got it? No. Mm -hmm. Your jumper. Your vented smile. Those person eyes. Shit, I think <laughs> I think Sherman's down to fuck. Are you a model? <laughs> I certainly am not. Maybe it's time you start modeling. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Maybe. Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah. Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. Just a little booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> Not law, you see. My name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. <laughs> <laughs> you have the authority to steal my heart. Uh, he is down to fuck. He what? is so down to fuck. <laughs> Not because of your good luck. Uh -huh. He wants frog detective. Yeah. Just a little joke. Unless, you know. How about your looks? You look great. <laughs> it's a joke. Unless. <laughs> exactly. It was like you could like steal my heart because you're so dash it. Huh. You're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing heart? You've stolen them. Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right. Mario stole them. Did you have any lead who done it? So I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, uh. Hmm. Well, no, honestly, I'm a bit confused as to how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Ronda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Ronda Dynamite. 
clearly she didn't get the courage in time because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. Oh my god. Kitty. He's a mole. Oh! <laughs> Duh! He's a mole. He's a mole. He's an... Uh... He's inserted himself into this community. He's like literal. It's a literal and figurative literal mole. Literal mole. God, thanks, Grace. I did not. I did not. I did not catch that. <laughs> oh God. It's funny. Oh God, damn it! <laughs> Why did it take us this long? I don't know. We're almost at the end of the game. We just finally got that fun. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, he's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land, and that's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, and so I thought it'd be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying they don't do a bad job or anything, but I was just hoping that he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. Have you spoke to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, but I'll give him time to settle in. I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes to your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible. I have a few concerns. First of all, he ugly as sin. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I saw him peeking out from behind a barrel? That's weird. <laughs> right. Why are you so suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we just just picked that 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 direction to go with the voice, but it turns out we're a hundred percent right. It's so perfect. Oh god. <laughs> Anyway, I don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. I'm still dying. <laughs> Obviously, I want to press last to cop's judgment, but this new guy seems so quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea. Do you know? Nope. Figures. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? The mine. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. Like, I really like gold. I don't mean to seem insensitive, but I want to ask. Is it a bad thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Oh, that's the guy from the island. Mmm, sounds heavy. Yeah. I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. He would look like a pimp with a gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get out to the mine. It's all blocked up. Dang, have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, it's all really dangerous. Also something we did in the first game. <laughs> I know, right? Thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh yeah, that would be probably better, yeah. Do you have one? I can trade you for a, a shovel. I'll think about it. Uh, I'm guessing we'll need a shovel to dig up a grave. Probably. Give pickaxe. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade for the shovel. Ooh, I love that. Thanks. I could also <laughs> trade for a nice dinner, just you and I. Eh, I'll take the shovel for now. <laughs> I fucking love Sherman. Yeah. Mouth is open. Maybe after I've slept the case. If they don't have a date at the end of this episode, I'm going to be heartbroken. Yeah, me too. Got a shovel. We're ready to shove people. Sherman? Motive? I don't know. 
found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. Frog Those Detective eyes. is into it too. Frog Sherman. Detective is about Sherman. Sherman, you, you make, make me blush. blush. So funny, so cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. I hope he didn't do it. I hope he didn't do it. Aww. Aww. Can I ride up the top here? Woo! I can. Hold on, I can make that. Oh, it pushes me back down. Ah, uh, okay. I can almost make it, though. 